want one, two guys, not have two guys, and, and guys that want to come to the rink, and guys that want to do the things that are required of them. And I think that's the key to being successful. Come on, go, 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 go! It's a long year in terms of the time commitment. I think it may be even the longest season in the NCAA from start to the, to the Frozen Four. Go short, 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 go! I don't want the guys ever to look at playing hockey at UNH as a grind. I want them to look at it as a great opportunity. Our busiest days are usually Monday, Wednesday is when we have our workout, which is like an extra hour or two that you're at the rank. Heads on a swivel, I got a man and a half at all times. There's a lot of practicing in college hockey, and these, a lot of these guys are coming from, from junior hockey where they're playing 60, 70, 80 games. We only play 34 regular season games. Get going, get going, Chris! So practice at times can be tedious, but I think that's the responsibility of our staff to make sure that we keep it fresh. Angus, come back on the inside, on this side with Charlie Ari. Coach, he always says, like, we won't keep you out there long, but we got to go hard. <laughs> Which I love. I, I love being pushed as a player. One, two, three. Hey. I think the biggest thing that we love to do is go and have dinner after practice together. We take up a bunch of tables inside uh, Holloway Commons. It's awesome being able to socialize with the guys to end the day, and we see each other the next day around 9 a.m. The responsibility of a UNH hockey player is a big one, and all the guys take it very seriously. We always appreciate it when there's little kids coming out to skate with us. It's cool to see them look up to you, and you want to just be a good role model for them. So I'm a, a finance major in the uh, Paul Business School. My major is sports studies with a minor in business. My biggest thing is I want to stay in sports or in the game in some way. Growing up, my parents and my grandparents too would always stress how important the academic side was and how hockey doesn't last forever. Even if you do go pro, you're still gonna have to end up getting a job at, at some point. That's why I've been taking it so seriously in college. So I just wanna make my parents proud, make my grandparents proud. That was the biggest thing for my mom. It's always books first, athletics second. I wanna be the best student athlete I can be here. One of the advantages, I think, of playing in Hockey East is that it is a bus league. You know, other leagues in the country, you're on a plane, you're, you're flying here, there, and everywhere. But yeah, you, you may be on a bus, but most nights you're going to be back home in your own bed. You know, being a hockey player, being an athlete at this level is something that you don't really think much about. <laughs> guys are playing junior hockey where they're, they're familiar with 10 and 12 hour bus trip, and then playing that night. And I played in the BCHL in juniors. It's a 12 hour road trip up to Prince George, and it's just a long haul, it's brutal, it's in the middle of the winter, it's no fun. But meanwhile, like the longest one here is, that we've had this year is five hours. We're like, oh, this is easy for us, this is a breeze. At this point, everyone's been on the bus for extended periods of time, and if I'm tired, I'll just shut my eyes for a bit. Obviously, playing at a Boston school is always pretty special. It's probably the, the hub of our league. So a sense of pride anytime I have an opportunity to showcase UNH in Boston. And our players realize that oftentimes, if you want to get anywhere in Hockey East, you got to go through the schools in Boston. A sellout crowd at the Whittemore Center tonight for the Wildcats and Black Bears. The way at the Wick game is really special, and all the guys look forward to it. Obviously the history of the rivalry between us and Maine is, is big. There's been a lot of historic games played, whether it's at Fenway or Frozen Fours in Anaheim. The rink is packed and you got the student section full. I love it when it brings that extra bit of energy for you. A blast from Mask! Oh! There's nothing like coming here, playing a home game at the Whittemore Center on a Saturday night when the place is packed. There's extra energy in the building, the, the team that seems to have more life. It, it's something that, that brings me back to my time uh, here as a student athlete. There's Harry on the face, it is. And I don't think there's any other experience like it in our conference and, and nationally. Aaron, that's Aaron in overtime.